The Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. Let's get this out of the way. Give us some Donald Trump. Off you go. It's an honour to be here. And I just want to say, I I love Radio 4 and it's my favourite breakfast radio show. I love the way, by the way, and this radio show was invented and I know you've been here 60 years and I want to pay tribute. You've you've been brilliant those 60 years, Chris. And here's to another 60 more. You look great on it, by the way. Thank you very much. (laughs) How good is that? When you say, let's get it out of the way, can we come back to Donald? Of course, did you really make Tony Blair squirm in his seat at one of your shows? Uh, Did he squirm? Well, you know what? I I did my impression of him to him and I think he found that slightly uncomfortable. Right. Because I think they they realised that, you know... I said, look, frankly now, you've got a situation where, yes, it's right that you not only invest in the National Health Service, but you reform it as well, Chris. And I, yeah, I think, frankly, at the end of the day, you, you know, you, you pay your money and you take your choice. You know? <laughs> I think when people see themselves impersonated, it freaks them out a bit. OK, and uh, you're going to... When you go up to Edinburgh in a couple of weeks' time um, with Brexit Pursued by a Bear, which is the best title of all time... I'm running out of puns, mate. Uh, for Brexit? Yeah. OK, because your Brexit show's been running for how many years now? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, as long as Brexit itself, yeah. yeah. Three, it would just never end. We're up to three... We're past three years. We're on to our fourth year of Brexit now. I mean, I will say, for all I am down on Brexit, it's been great for my career. Five years ago, I was having to do comedy about Ed Miliband. Yeah, well, how's that, I mean, how's is, that, how's that work? Yeah, I mean, well, you give, know, give us your best Ed Miliband material. Look, look Chris, uh, you know, it's great to be here. Uh, uh, look, uh, all I'm going to say to you, uh, and I just want to say this, by the way, uh, and this is my answer to you. He would spend most of his time telling you he was going to answer a question. Look, this is my answer. And Chris, this is what I'm going to say. Let me be clear. Uh, I'm just going to say, uh, look, I want to be absolutely straight up about it. <laughs> that was, uh, it, it, it's, it, in a way, you know, Trump and Boris and stuff like that are far more... Technicolor. If you are, if you are good at uh, recreating people's voices, um, does it mean your jokes don't have to be as funny? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> have you been reading my reviews? No, not at all. No, I really, really haven't. But your jokes are funny anyway. Oh, well, but that's because, very kind. because you can kick in, to, you know, you can jog on with, you know, with an Ed Miliband at the drop of a hat. There. I mean, we're, we're already on board. Because... Well, you know what? I, I bumped into Jim White on this. Well, floor. you should be more careful. <laughs> But Jem Way, I once impersonated him on, on Sky Sports News, Chris. It's absolutely right. And I do him in the show at the moment. Uh, it's great what's going on. Always sounds surprised. No matter what's going on, it's only 20 past eight. He sounds a little bit constipated as well. Does he? <laughs> well, yes, because it's always like, oh, God, why can't I go? I've taken every laxative under the sun, by the way. That's right. A movement. It's on its way live on Sky Sports yeah. News. <laughs> The deadline is closing at midnight tonight. I mean, the, the, this window will not be open for much longer. That's right. Undigested food is moving from my gut. To, oh, well, I'm not even going to complete that. Right, so... So, you're so ba- the toilet. You're back at the Edinburgh Festival. OK, yeah. which hall or, or room are you playing? So it's the Pleasance 4th right, in okay. the Pleasance Courtyard. And people can buy tickets now for that. Who can buy tickets now, how yeah. many How many performances will you do? I'll do a minimum of 26. Right, okay. 26 days on the trot. Now, you've obviously sold some tickets already, I would imagine, or have they just gone on sale now? Oh, yes, it? yeah, they're on sale now, yeah. Have you won an award at Edinburgh? No, but now you mention it, it's about time. No, it is about time. And uh, and I suppose, is it the case that the longer you've been performing, in many ways, uh, rightly or wrongly, fairly or not so, um, that you have less chance of winning, but just because new equals potentially... Ex- automatically exciting. Yeah, equals is a strong word. Um, but there are, you're right, new acts around. Yeah, and it's, it's, I don't it's, know. A, it's a brilliant vibe for everyone. Oh, isn't it's it? fantastic. Yeah, oh, it's great. I mean, the thing is, it's not about winning awards, is it? It's no, about, it's not at all. It's about entertaining the public. But they don't hurt. You are going to interview Nicola Sturgeon whilst you're up there as yes. part of, of your show, Political Party, which has been running for six years. That's right, it? yeah, yeah. So I do. I also do a show where I interview politicians and I take the mick out of them a bit, but I ask them serious questions as well. Yeah. And I'm, I'm delighted that Nicola Sturgeon is going to do it this year. And to interview her in Scotland, you know, yeah. the leader of Scotland is really uh, exciting. We were talking about Nicola Sturgeon yesterday. We just were. I don't know why we just were. Because when you're watching the cricket, you can watch the sport, you can do the crossword, you can have a bite to eat, you can take a break, and, the, and we're still beating the Australians. All the time we're just beating the Australians. <laughs> yes, we were. We're not wiping the floor with them. We're, we're mopping them up. Uh, we're not taking them to the cleaners. We're taking them to the hygienists, the, 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 the fumigators. Uh, and we, we've, we're... We're scraping the bottom of the budget. Ca- Sorry, I've started again. We're really beating them. We did, we did, we did yeah. very well. Uh, but um, will she be nervous about this? Because will she be aware of, of your political party podcast in the past? I think a lot of politicians listen to it, so that uh, most of them are aware of it now. Um, 
But they know I'm going to be fair. I think that's important. Is even though they're going to get teased a bit, you've got to be able to laugh at yourself, and right. there's value in that. How 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 much does Boris Johnson? How much did he feature in what you're going to do in Edinburgh till about three weeks ago? And how much must he feature now? Oh, way more. Uh, and obviously, you, know, you, you let me just by the way, <laughs> I, you, you pay tribute. <laughs> and all, you know, very. I mean, what he does is, is flatter people and speak Latin, and that seems to work on and say nothing. Large so he flatters people, speaks Latin, says nothing. Yeah, it's an honour to be here on this. Yeah, let me yeah, yeah, this this crucible of culture. Uh, the, <laughs> it reminds me very much of a phrase. Yeah, my father used to use in in, in divitas. Divitum uh, rectum. Uh, <laughs> Greek people, uh, I mean, come on. Now that whole, he, he's, he's a blagger and he does, gets away with does it. Does anybody care about Jeremy Hunt? With, no, the, with mean, the greatest of respect. Jeremy Hunt, Jeremy Hunt has a kind of nervous... Di- Jeremy Hunt talks to the public like he's walked in on his naked. He's always kind of, oh, well, um, I, I can see this is a bad time, uh, but I, I really think we should invest in the NHS. <laughs> the Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky.